The United States of America is the most powerful country in the world, specifically in economy, military and some other few spheres. The main reason why it's so powerful is because it's united. For example, state of California alone has 2.7 trillion dollars of GDP. That's bigger economy than Russia and Netherlands combined. Even the smallest state and economy like Vermont has bigger economy than 91 independent countries of the world. Coincidentally, European continent also has 50 states. But unlike US, they are all independent countries. The most developed countries per region is by far in the European continent. Countries like UK, Germany, France, Russia, Italy and Scandinavian countries are considered to be one of the most powerful in military, economy and overall happiness of its citizens. What if all these developed countries of the European continent united and become one country just like the USA? Speaking of European continent as a whole, it's surprisingly very small. Even the country of Canada is virtually the same size with the whole European continent, where Europe covers about 10,180,000 square kilometers or only 2% of the Earth's surface. To put it into perspective, imagine a round clock, just like the Earth. In one minute is 30 seconds and little over one second of it where whole European continent is located. This is including European territory of Russia, where the Russia is the largest, spanning 39% of the continent. Generally, as a single country, Russia is enormous. Even Asian part of it, which is Siberia, dwarfs the 50 countries European continent, including Russia's European part. As a country and even as a continent, the economy of Europe is and will be the largest on Earth. It would have 20.2 trillion dollars of GDP, and GDP per capita will be 27,330 dollars. Additionally, it's the richest region as measured by the asset management. It's 37.1 trillion dollars in assets under management, represented one third of the world's wealth. Countries like Germany, UK, France, Italy, Russia, and Spain will be the states exceeding a trillion dollars threshold, comparing to US, only California, Texas and New York. A century ago in 2016, there was 330 million people lived in Europe. In 2050, there were 549 million people. And now, as of 2018, there are around 742 million people, which is slightly less than 10% of the world's population. It will be the third the most populated country in the world, although most part of the Europe has been suffering from low fertility rates relatively to other regions of the world. As it stands now around 10% of the world's population, if demographic trends keep their pace, its share may fall to around 7% in 2050 but still amounting to 716 million people in absolute numbers. To specifically revert low fertility rates among its citizens, countries like Russia had launched a policy that would give around 9,000 US dollars for the second and every following born baby. So giving 9,000 dollars in Russia is like giving around 36,000 dollars in the United States for every born baby. This shows the severity of the low birth rates in European countries. European continent as a country will be the one of the most diverse ethnic ethnic region in the world. There are more than 100 ethnic groups. The largest ethnic group will be the Russians, of whom 110 million people reside in Europe, and the second largest are the Germans with 83 million people, and the next large groups are the British with 66 million, French are 65 million, and Italians about 61 million people. As for the world domination in military, European continent will be the largest army on the planet, with whooping around 3.5 million active military personnel. Currently continent's military budget is around 310 billion dollars. That's the half of the military spending of the US. But Europe's average military spending per GDP is around 1.7% and in US is around 3.1%. And in case if Europe unites and raises to 3.5%, then it will have $707 billion of total military spending. That will make Europe the most powerful country in the world in many different levels. And here comes the conclusion. Whether it's unified countries or people, they are theoretically and practically much stronger than the isolated ones. If we look at the United States of America, every single state is worse of some country outside. The fact that all of the states are unified under one government government makes the USA current time the most powerful country in the world in many degrees. For instance, combined economy of states like California, Texas, New York and Florida is bigger than the combined economy of two continents like South America and Africa, which makes up 66 independent countries. The fact that Europe is the most diverse region in the world, unification as a one country might never happen and probably never will. But if it does, we will witness the commencement of the most powerful and most developed country in the world. The world. 
I was thinking about the capital for unified European continent and there were many options on the table. Give us your thoughts down in the comment section below about which city should be the capital for unified Europe. And as always, thanks for watching.